Uh, we've got Nathan Wilson with us, uh, Newton Aitliff midfielder and former Sunderland uh, Academy pro. Nathan, you spent between 10 and 11 years at, at Sunderland before yeah. you came here at, uh, at Newton Aitliff. Can you just talk us through one or two of your memories or your time at the uh, Academy of Light? Yeah, it was good when I, obviously I was there since I was like about seven. So um, obviously I worked my way up, had two years scholar there and a year in the reserves. It was good, I enjoyed it, uh, worked with some good coaches. Um, obviously one of them being Bali, which is probably has brought me on to play the most. So, um, and Jed McNamee as well, he was pretty good for me as well. So you mentioned Borley there, that's Kevin Ball, the, the, the Sunderland legend. Um, he's actually taken the team here on Friday night, as we know. How will it feel for you to be uh, um, lining up against uh, a Kevin Ball side and not you know, for probably one? The, probably the first time I've ever played against him, so I'm sure I'll be, he'll be him screaming and shouting on the sideline as well. So, um, But yeah, it'll be, be weird, like, so... I've, been, I've been texting him as well, I've a bit of bank with him as well, so hopefully we'll beat him as well. Okay, and uh, I mean, although you're not with Sunderland anymore, Nathan, it'll be, a, I'd imagine, quite a sense of pride in there coming uh, out with you. A little bit, I have a few points to prove. Um, obviously, I've been playing against a few players who uh, might be my age and maybe a year younger, so I've got a few point, points to prove on Friday if I'm playing, if I'm selected, so hopefully I can do quite, prove some points as well. Okay, excellent. You mentioned being selected there, uh, you returned to training. A couple of weeks ago, after yeah, a, a, a holiday that we all read about on Twitter, uh, back into the team on Saturday with two goals. Uh, tell us about Saturday's game, Nathan. Yeah, well, it? obviously I, I didn't start, and obviously it was different people didn't start, changed the team that around a bit. But um, the last 45, I felt fit. Um, I've been doing quite a bit over the summer, so um, I feel pretty fit, and I felt sharp as well. And it was good to get two goals as well. So hopefully I can push on for the season now. And what uh, what are your hopes for the season coming up, uh, Nathan, personally well, and for the club? Well, personally, I want to play regularly, enjoy my football again. Towards the end of last season, I had a couple of not so good games, last couple, so um, just get myself in the back of swing of things and just play what I know I can play like about the club when I first come to the club as well. In last, not last season, was it the start of last season? Pre season. So just obviously play regularly and enjoy my football again. And finally, just before you go, um, you're in there in the dressing room with the lads. You're training two or three times a week. What's the what's the general hype in the in the dressing room amongst the other lads for the visit of Sunderland this Friday? Yeah, it's good. I think obviously they're a Premier League club as well. So if we can get a decent result against them or have a good team performance, and I think it'll put us in good stead for the season as well. So, but yeah, and look it'll, forward to it. It'll mean a lot for the the Mackams in there, like Stewie Owen, James e. Oliver. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So and I dare say there'll be plenty of crack on Twitter about it as well after if we do get a good result or a good performance as well so just have to see what happens on the right but I think we've got a good chance of getting a good performance as well and a good, uh, good result as well.